Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and today is day four of the Itch to Stitch. So beautiful promotional week I guess. <laughs> Um, so Itch to Stitch has a new book out called So Beautiful and um, there are eight patterns in the book and I'm highlighting each of the eight um, throughout starting last Monday and going all the way through this coming Monday. Um, I was one of the testers for the book and so I've got my tester patterns that I made this time last year and then I remade seven out of the eight in um, cold weather versions because you know, because of where Kenneth lives in Costa Rica, a lot of her photos and stuff are all um, warm, tropical uh, versions, which just makes sense. Obviously, you can go and look at all the testers. There's testers from all over the world um, and all sorts of different climates. But because I live in Indiana and I'm, we're going into um, cold weather, I thought that it would be fun to do um, hack some of them to be cold weather appropriate, which I have done. Now, today's pattern is the only pattern that I've not remade, only because the one that I made back in testing still fits my wardrobe perfectly, um, and it requires a sweater knit, and I just don't, I don't carry an abundance of sweater knit in my stash, um, and this, the color goes perfectly with everything. I mean, it was just, it was perfect. There was no need to remake it. <laughs> I mean, the other ones are pretty good, too, but um, anyway, this is the Carlsbad, um, cardigan. Now this is what started everything. So uh, I'm part of her tester group and when she put something out um, for testing this this cardigan pattern I was one of the testers for that and then she said you know okay halt um, we're not going to release this pattern it's actually going to be the first pattern in my new book and then asked if anyone wanted to test for the book and of course I was like ah yes. <laughs> So this is what started it all. So this pattern comes in two views. It comes in a regular cardigan with long sleeves or a vest. You can make it sleeveless. And there's quite a few of the testers that have made the sleeveless version and it's really beautiful. So it's a waterfall cardigan. Um, and you wouldn't have to use sweater knit. I mean, you could use just a regular knit. I don't know why I was being weird about it being sweater knit. I used this gorgeous sweater knit. You can kind of see through it. So sweater knit, it looks like it's been like hand knitted is why, um, you know, I call it a sweater knit. I actually bought this from Smuggler's Daughter when she was still, um, had her shop. Oh no. And I snagged it. It's the other thing about sweater knit. It snags easy because it's open weave. I'll have to pull that back through. Um, anyway, it's a waterfall type cardigan. Uh, she's got beautiful details on how to finish things with mitered corners because if you look at the way it comes out in this um, kind of a rectangle shape, you finish the edges off with these gorgeous mitered corners. And as you can see, I um, finished mine off with a serger and then did the top stitching on there. It's in this beautiful green color. Um, I made the size eight. Um, I've mentioned it already. Today we're at the halfway point, but I did not um, do any full bust adjustments. There's no cup sizes in her book like her normal patterns have. Um, it's in its her old size range. It's only from a, a double zero to a size 20. And um, but I am normally a size eight with a D cup, and I've not had to do any full bust adjustments on any of her patterns in this book. So. You know, if you have to do full bust adjustments on her patterns anyway, you may still have to do, I mean, you'll still probably still have to do that, but um, I have not had to do anything, so that's very exciting. Um, I think I shortened the body of this by an inch. I shortened the sleeves by an inch. That's the only adjustment I made because I am short. Um, <laughs> uh, it's just, she just has beautiful finishing details on this, like all of her patterns. Um, and I just think the drape on that, if you choose a nice drapey fabric, it's just gorgeous. And I, again, the testers have some beautiful, beautiful versions. Um, so I will post both the pictures of when I was testing this. And then also I took some footage just this week of me in this cardigan as well, worn with my new jeans. And, um, yeah, it's a really good pattern. I mean, it's just a great waterfall cardigan. I mean, it's a basic, right? That's a wardrobe basic to have a waterfall car cardigan in your wardrobe. They're just so flattering across the front of the body, especially if you use something with some drape. Um, I think it just, she just, Kenneth also just does a really good job of making things very flattering of you know, being, you know, it's a looser fitting cardigan, but still having shape so that you don't get lost in fabric, um, which being a short person, I really appreciate. <laughs> so yeah, that's the Carlsbad. Love it. Um, and now I'm getting back into weather where I can wear it a lot more again. It's a great color. So um, great for sweater knits. 
uh, and also any kind of drapier knit. I don't know. I mean, you could make it in like a cotton spandex if you wanted to, but I think like a rayon spandex would be um, just the drape. You just get more of the effect that's there in the drafting of the pattern. So there you have it, guys. That is pattern four out of eight. Um, and that one has the two views. You can make it without the sleeves and turn it into a vest. So if you do live in warmer tropical areas, what a great topper for um, a module, um, just to have something else to throw over and kind of change up the look of things. Um, I think it would also be really beautiful belted if you wanted to throw a belt on over that cardigan or uh, over the vest. I think that would be a really fun way to style it as well. So that's all I have for today. Um, short video. <laughs> I knew this one would be shorter because I only had one version of it. Uh, once again, if you'd like to or interested in pre-ordering the book for yourself or a loved one for Christmas, um, you can. I do have an affiliate link down below, which is an Amazon affiliate, which means I get a commission if you buy from that link. Um, it's no extra cost to you, but I, I, I do get a little commission. I just want to be upfront about that um, with the affiliate links. So that's all I've got for today. I will be back tomorrow with pattern number five, right? Is that right? What are we on? One, two, three, four. Yes, we're on four. Tomorrow is Friday, so right? Five, six, seven, eight. Yes. Tomorrow we're back with pattern five. <laughs> Whew! Do that math. All right, guys, leave any questions you have in the comments below, and I will see you all again tomorrow.